So first things first, if you are new to Tasty Trade or just getting uh, crypto trading on your platform, you're going to need to enable it in your account. So right now we do offer crypto trading in individual accounts. So we don't have it in IRAs just yet or business accounts, but you can trade it in your individual margin in cash accounts. And you can also enable crypto trading in multiple accounts as well. So maybe you have a cash account, a couple margin accounts, you can enable it in all of those different accounts. To start enabling, you're going to want to go to our management site at my.tastytrade.com slash manage. And then when you are on our manage page here, you should see, and let me get my little drawing tools up here, might help out a little bit. But so we'll go to manage up here when you're on our web platform on my.tastytrade.com. And then go over to your left side and go to my accounts and then trading preferences. Once you've done that, you'll go to the top here and select the account you want to enable crypto in. And then you should see here right at the top that you can click on enable zero hash trading and you'll start your crypto trading application. So go into our next page here. You go through some uh, disclaimers, um, some agreements that you'll have to agree to before starting trading. All you got to do is just click on these links. It'll pop up the uh, agreement. You can read through it. And then that checkbox will be checked off. Go through these checkbox and then you can click on enable trading right down here. Once that's complete, you'll get a quick pop-up just saying, hey, your trading application is in. And would you like to set up a wallet for crypto transfers? So next we'll briefly just cover a little bit on crypto transfers. So if you wanted to, right now, we offer the ability to withdraw crypto that you buy or hold at Tasty Trade or at Zero Hash um, out to a third party wallet. So, you know, some other crypto firms or trading services, you can always withdraw your crypto out. You don't necessarily have to close your position, cause a taxable event, and then, um, you know, transfer cash and rebuy it. So you'll be able to transfer out your crypto at any time. But all you got to do to set up crypto transfers, let's go to my money here on our left side panel on the management page. And then we have a tab here, crypto transfers. Uh, before you see our full crypto transfers menu, you do need to meet a couple of different requirements. First is that that step that we just did, you're going to need to enable crypto trading in the account. The second step is that you're going to need to have two-factor authentication enabled in your account as well. So I'm sure most of you did that when you opened up your account, but if you didn't, you'll get some steps here when you click on this button. And then lastly, uh, there's one more step where you have to go through the process of just uploading an ID document. So these are just some extra security measures to make sure that when you're transferring crypto, it is for sure you. So once those three steps are complete, you'll be able to go to our next section here at the bottom where you can click on our agreement, read through it, agree to the terms, and then go ahead and enable transfers. Then once you've enabled transfers, you'll this is kind of our main transfer screens. You'll notice that we have deposits in here and withdrawals. Right now we just have withdrawals, but I can say that next week we are going to be green lighting uh, digital wallet deposits as well. So you will be able to transfer crypto into your Tasty Trade account and out. Uh, so that'll be very, very nice. And we'll be sending out some communications once that's live, but once you are ready to link up a wallet that you want to withdraw to, you can click on this add new wallet under the my wallet section. And then little pop-up disclaimer here that you can click I understand. And then when you're in the assets transfer, you'll select an asset that you want to transfer. You'll enter in the wallet address for where you want to withdraw to. And then also the uh, nickname or name that appears on the interface here just to know which wallet is which. And then on our next screen here, once your wallet's approved, you'll see it approved down here. It might take uh, around, you know, sometimes it can range from a couple hours to um, usually overnight. 
your wallet will get approved. Or if we run into any trouble with that, uh, we'll also send you an email from our accounts team, letting you know if we need any additional information to set up your wallet here. And once you got a wallet set up, you can go to our withdrawals section here. And just to quickly go through this before getting into the trading, uh, you can, again, select the account you wish to withdraw crypto from, select the asset. So right now you can withdraw and trade Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And then you'll see the amount that you're currently holding, and you can enter in the amount of uh, Ethereum you want to withdraw. Confirm that the wallet address is correct. That's a really big thing is, you know, always double check when you enter in your wallet address that it is the matching address on your other location. So always double check that. And then you can click on request fee details and you'll get a breakdown of the fee breakdown, um, how much you're transferring, how much the fees are. And, you know, Ryan, feel free to chime in here. But uh, I think, you know, one of the greatest benefits here with uh, crypto deposits and withdrawals is going to be, you know, for those of you in Uruguay or Bolivia, you know, it can be a lot to to wiring funds. It can cost a lot at your bank. So this is definitely a, a bit of a, a cheaper alternative in some cases or a little more cost efficient uh, if you're looking to fund your account instead of wiring or doing an account transfer or something like that. But um, yeah, that's just kind of the general overview here of making a crypto transfer. So just wanted to highlight that before we get started. And uh, Ryan, did you have anything you wanted to to cover on these? Yeah, one thing I'd mention too, Christian, and for everybody, you only have to do this one time. It's similar to setting up a connected bank account. You go through the process, but once you've done that, you can now withdraw that cryptocurrency that you've purchased through Zero Hash through Tasty Trade. And what I love about that is it's a great way to move crypto on chain. Let's say I have Ethereum and I want to move it to my wallet address because I want to do something with it on chain. You can buy it at Tasty Trade, withdraw it. It's your crypto. You're in control of it through your wallet. And as Christian mentioned, coming very, very soon, you'll have the ability to move it back into the brokerage when you want to. So you kind of have this on or off ramp that exists between what you're doing on chain and what you're doing in your brokerage account. 